Indian rover discovered sulfur at the south pole of the moon. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, has announced that the Prugyan rover has carried out the first measurements of the chemical composition of regolith near the moon's south pole. The test showed the presence of sulfur and a number of other elements. The Chandrayaan-3 mission launched in mid-July. On August 5, it entered the orbit of the Silver Globe. On August 23, India made history as the first country to land near the little explored south pole of the Moon, and the fourth to land a lander intact on the surface of our natural satellite, after the US, USSR, Russia and China. The mission consists of an orbiter, a lander and a rover. The lander's name is Vikram, which means, bravery, in Sanskrit, and the rover's name is Pragyan, which means, wisdom, in Sanskrit. The mission's name, Chandrayaan, means, lunar vehicle, in Sanskrit. The Vikram lander arrived at the moon's south pole carrying its smaller companion in its belly. This is the Prugyan rover, which after landing successfully rolled off the ramp to the surface of the silver globe and began exploring our natural satellite. In the first measurements, Krogian analyzed the composition of the Moon's surface near its south pole. The rover has been equipped with five scientific instruments, including a spectrometer and a magnetometer, which will focus on studying the physical properties of the Moon's surface near-surface atmosphere and tectonic activity to study what is happening below the surface. Naturally, the rover could not lack a camera with which we will be able to view the south pole of our natural satellite. The laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy LIBS, instrument on board the Prugyan rover has made the first ever in situ measurement of the elemental composition of the lunar surface near the south pole. These measurements unequivocally confirm the presence of sulfur in this region. ISRO said in a statement, adding that such measurements would not have been possible with instruments mounted on board lunar orbiters. Preliminary analyzes also indicate the presence of aluminium, iron, calcium, chromium, titanium, manganese, silicon and oxygen. While not listed among the main objectives of the CHANDRAYAN-3 mission, the Moon's South Pole is an ideal place to search for and study water ice. Analyzes of previous missions have shown that a large amount of ice is located in the region of the South Pole of the Moon. This ice could be of great importance for future manned missions. It can be used by potential settlers as drinking water and as a material from which rocket fuel will be produced. Much of this ice is contained in permanently shadowed craters that are never reached by the sun's rays. However, 
So far, Prugian has not found any traces of ice. In addition, the terrain on which Prugian is supposed to wander is not easy. Mission controllers may have difficulty maneuvering across the cratered surface. For this reason, the first steps of the rover were corrected to avoid the 4-meter-wide crater located right next to the landing site. ISRO also presented captivating images of the lunar surface from near its south pole. One shows the deep and shadowy abyss of the crater. The second photo shows the tracks left by the rover. Prugian also photographed the Vikram lander.